Hello guys, this is Joseph from Joe Concert. How are you doing today? Alright, so some times back I uploaded a, a series of um, rigging tutorial and from those tutorial I got a comment, more of a request in my comment section asking me to create um, this, how to create this um, flesh, this skin texturing, how to texture up this kind of um, texture for the screen. For the skin and uh, so i just thought so it was actually part of my thumbnail so um, one of my subscriber asked me to create that so which is why this video what this video is all about so i'm going to be showing you how to create this skin feel texture for any object that you want and the technique is pretty simple and fast to do so that's what this video is going to be about so i'm going to show you how to use native cinema 4d rendering um, and texture material to do that and also how to use corona material sets to do that so you have two sets to do so it's just pretty much the same um, approach that you use for other um, rendering application or rendering plugin so um, that's just what this is all about you can see the way this goes and i also did a very simple loop animation for it so you can see and that texture follows it you see that um, effect so that's what this is going to be about so if you uh, I just want to implore you before we get into this video that you please help me like the video share it because it helps me on YouTube algorithm if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to this video because I do tutorials like this every time so without further ado let's just get into the tutorial this is what I have in the scene so you can see that I have um, the skin model and also the skeleton just like um, it was requested for so you have your skeleton and also your skin so what I've done with this is that I've already rigged this up and made this controller control both the skeleton and the skin you can see while I move this guy it affects both the skeleton and the, and the skin so um, that's just um, what I have and I'm going to quickly do two setup one for the normal cinema for the standard renderer and the other for corona renderer and the reason why I'm going to be doing this is because it's still the same process everything that you need is just the same so I'll just quickly go to the setup so I'll create a cinema 4d standard material so the standard material I'm just going to place it over to my skin so this is what i'm going to have i'm going to have the material pasted on the skin and this is just what and it doesn't look um so much but if i go into the material a couple of things i want to do the first thing is the color that i want for this skin i have to set that color here so i can just quickly set a particular color which I want the skin to have. So once I'm done creating that color, the next thing I'm going to do is to, this is not necessary anyway, so creating a reflection. So I'll just use a Batman reflection and go to the front nail because I don't want it to be that, uh, look like a chrome. So I'll go to the front nail, just make it dielectric and then add some roughness to it. So just add a little bit of a roughness to that and now this is not the effect we're looking for so how do we get that effect so for us to get effect we are going to be doing that in our alpha channel so the alpha channel once i activate the alpha channel and then you notice nothing happens but by the time i start adding stuff to it so the way alpha channel works is that once you have a solid color and if you have white, what white means is that it should be opaque, so you should see through. But if you have black, black means it should be, it should be invisible, so you can see what's happening. Taking this to white is opaque, and taking this to black is invisible. So you might think that, okay, what if I come to the middle, let's say um, 50%, and this will not solve that. Let it come down. Let's just say like, 25% that won't solve anything because it won't really give us the effect we are looking for 
So the effect we are looking for is at the edge of this object will glow or will have the color while the middle is more like not having anything. All right, so which this is not giving us. You can see as I'm rendering, I don't get to have anything. All right, so it's just giving me this color straight up. And so how can I do that effect? And that can also be done by, I'm going to get rid of this um, color since I've used that to explain. So I'll get that, get rid of that. Then instead of using color, I'm going to use Fresnel. And this is Fresnel. So the way Fresnel works is that it looks at, um, you can see from the feedback here, it looks like at the object that is close to you, and it makes that black and the one at the edge which is kind of perpendicular will have white color so you can already see the effect we're going to have so if i go into this we can start to change a whole lot of things with this um, funnel so let's look at what this will give us first if i click on this render um it should render that you can start to see what's happening so it's beginning to render but that is the coloring is too much so what's happening at the white is kind of much so that's why you're seeing a whole lot so i can decide to manually squash this down to kind of reduce the white you can see while i'm doing this you're seeing the effect even in this um viewport all right so let's just render that and show you what we have you can already see what's happening here so this is what we're going to get all right so you can also decide to say you want to add a physical and for the physical you can now start using this value to push this guy out you can see that 1.3328 really pushes that out so if i say 1.2 for instance still pushing it more you can see let's say 1.5 it brings the whites a little bit up so you can use this value to Get the feel you are looking for so let me just render that and see so you can see even though um, it's looking nice in the viewport but in the rendering it's not really looking nice so you need to always render to see the effect so let's just see 1.2 I'm going to render that so you can see what's happening so this looks a lot better so I'll try 1.25 I still want to reduce that even much more all right, so this is not bad. This is giving me what I want. So what I want is I don't want the whole entire um, inner parts to just be gone. I still want to have a little bit of coloration, which is what I'm having. But this edge, I want it to really glow, to shine, to glow. So how do I get that? I'm going to add my luminance. So if I go to my luminance, so what luminance will do is going to make everything glow you can see what we're having so if i render that see what i have so the glowing is still having effect on the inside part which is not what i want i only want the glowing to be on the edge so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add fresnel also to this um luminance so what the fresnel will also do is just the in between will glow and that other side so let's see what will happen if i do that so it's beginning to give me the effect that i'm looking for but now i'm beginning to lose the color and the white color is now taking precedence over the blue color that i have so let's just come and give that color um, color that we want so let's just see we're going to even override this color so another So let's say this color but the issue with this is that the color is fine in my opinion but the issue here is that i'm still having that glue coming into this center and i don't want that so what i can do is i can bring this close to this so let's just bring this here i want this to stay at that percentage and this coming here so let me just choose a round value 77 so i will try and remember this value for corona so i'll just use you can already see what's happening so it's beginning to 
give that effect. Um, if I still want to reduce this more, I can still push this more. So once I push this, and let's render that. So you see what it's going to give. So you can see what's happening here. All right, so what I can now do is to come to um, the brightness and begin to increase that brightness. So if I come to this brightness, let's try 200. And I can go to my luminance, auto light, bring this to like 200 also, and just render that. Okay, so you so the the catch to this is just um, tweaking this value, and that is going to give that effect you are looking for. Okay, so this is what you're going to use to just tweak till you are fine with whatever value you have. So let's just go with that 77. I think I like the way that 77 is. <clears throat> Yeah, I like the way it fades out in the middle. So I'm not seeing my bone now. So what I can just do is quickly create a another corona, sorry, another standard material. So for this standard material, I just want this to illuminate light. So just something like that. Okay, let me add a little bit of Batman. This um, all right, so let me just add that to this section and let's see what happens once I render that. So I'm rendering to see the effects we're going to have. So you can see that the the bone is now glowing from within. So if I feel that this glow is too much, I can always bring this down and also go to the luminance and reduce that white color to more of a grayish tint just to colorize that. You can already see what's happening. So if I do that, it's going to give me that effect. All right, so this is just how you're going to do this um, side glow. So if I'm to apply the same for my Corona, it's just a simple thing of duplicating everything that I have here. So I'll just quickly create. So I've already created um, the glow for the bone for Corona, so I don't need to recreate that. So what I'm just going to recreate is for the skin. So if I come to Corona Legacy, and so I'm going to be copying this out. So I'll just double click on that. Go to the color, just copy that. Go into the Corona Legacy and paste that color here. So here, for us to do that glow effect, so I'm going to drag this here. So for us to do the hiding effect, that can be done in the opacity. So just the same way what I've done in the um, Alpha channel is the same thing I'm going to do in the opacity. So I'm just going to um, click here and add Fresnel. So I don't need to create this Fresnel from scratch. So I can just copy this Fresnel from this Alpha channel and paste that there. So it's just the same setting. So this is what I have for this section. So the other thing is I'm also going to add uh, my reflection, activate the reflection and bring the glossy down. Okay, so let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my render settings from standard to Corona. So I can quickly use that to show you what Corona rendering looks like. All right, so I'm waiting for so I'll just switch this to Corona and I'll just go with the default setting. I don't really need to stress time with that. So let's look at this. This value is here. All right, so this Fresnel is not meant to be here. It's actually meant to be here. So I'll come here. Um, 
copy this shader, go to the opacity and paste it here. So this way is meant to be not here. So I'll just close this. So it should give me the proper way it should look. Just wait for it. Yeah, so this is what I actually need. So if I go into my Corona interactive rendering, you're going to see what I'm going to have. So you see what I have. So the diff so the thing with the um, Corona interactive rendering and for texture is that you don't get to see the texture coming out well. It's just you can only see a little bit. So for you to push this out, that's when you can now start adding the glow. So this, so for us to do that, you have to add your self illumination. So it's the self illumination that helps to do that. So if I select this, go and copy the Fresnel that I have in this um, luminance and go and add it in the self illumination. So once I add this into the self illumination um, paste. And that is done. So another thing I'm also going to do that I forgot to do is to copy this color from here, go to the self-illumination and paste the same color here. So once I have that done, so if you look at this now, I stop and then restart. I should have the glow coming out from the edge so you can start to see the effect. So you see the difference between um, standard rendering and corona so the corona really put this into use the center so whichever one you feel like using you can just use so this is how you would create that so if you feel you also want to still push you already know how to push that by just tweaking this so if i come to the multiplier and increase this by two i have to stop and render and let's see what happens. You can see that it glows even more. So if you feel that you want to really make this shine, just all you need to do is just come to the multiplier on that self-illumination and start to change the value of the multiplier. And that will have solved that. So this is um, how you're going to do this effect. So if you feel that this was helpful, please do give me a like and a thumbs up. Share it with your friends because you don't know who might help. And because it helps me on YouTube algorithm. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe because I do tutorials like this every time. So do have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye.